Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm Cody. And we're here with the September broadcast. Yay! So I'm Mr. Brown. I'm the principal of Ike Middle School. And if anybody ever needs me, I'm in the front office um, each day from usually about 7.30 until 4.30 or 5 o'clock at night. You can also reach me by email. You can always call the school office. But I'm always here for kids, for the community, and for parents. My name is Brandon Beadle, and I am one of the assistant principals at Warren T. Ike Middle School. And I'm responsible for many things here, such as school-wide discipline, facilities. I go into lots of meetings, and I help students and parents uh, work their way through middle school. So I have lots of responsibilities, and I'm located here in the main office, and also I'm throughout campus most of the day, too. Welcome to Ike. My name is Mrs. Pondo and I am one of the assistant principals and you can find me in either the main campus office or the evening office. Sixies that come here often don't know what to do. Now we'll have some advice for you. Yay! What's up Wildcats? Today we're going to be asking for some advice for sixth graders. Let's see what these Ike students say. What advice could you give to the sixth graders? Well, some advice that I could give to sixth graders is in their class, don't talk to your friends a lot, because then you'll get in a lot of trouble. I think for any sixth grader joining a new school, um, the best advice would be to join clubs, to do some extracurricular activities, to get involved in the school. You know, Ike has a lot of things to offer. And so whether it's sports like cross country, whether it's clubs like we have like science or math Olympiad, getting involved in school outside of the normal activities is probably the best thing to do. What could you say to the sixth graders to not get in trouble? To not get in trouble is pretty easy. I think you just follow the instructions of the teacher. Uh, you make good choices. You know, we're a PBIS school, so we like to reward positive behavior. We, we look for that. So I think mainly, as long as you're able to follow instructions and understand the rules and talk to somebody if there's an issue, you'll have no problem. If you need to find something, you can go to Little Boston Brown. Here at Ike, we have four on campus. Kevin, where are you in there? Oh, boy. I lost my class, so I was looking for it. But I guess it's not in here. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Lott, what do you do if you find something on the ground and you don't know where to put it? Um, you just put it in one of the lost and founds. Um, they're all around the school. We have one in the front of the sixth grade campus. We have one in the seventh and eighth grade cafeteria, and we also have one in the NPR. If you happen to lose something of high value, where do you think you can find it? Um, if you find anything like a phone or jewelry or something that you say that's high value, I would take immediately to the front office on the 7th and 8th grade and hand it to one of the administrators or one of the front girls. Are you bored before and after school? Well, on Mondays after school and Fridays before school, come to Campus Life. They have fun games like archery time and pancakes. Yay! This next segment is about our after school program, Campus Life. Campus Life takes place Mondays after school and Fridays right before school. This year's Campus Life kickoff was on Monday, August 20th, and we had fun things like water slides and archery. Hi, my name is Cassandra, and I go to Campus Life every single Monday. It's really fun because I get to hang out with friends, and they do different games, and they have different types of food. This year I went to the Campus Life kickoff and it was really cool. They had water balloon fights, different foods, and I suggest that you go. So I want to welcome all of our new teachers on campus. We have actually 10 new educators that started at Ike Middle School this year. Um, it's been an amazing journey so far. We've been here a month. They're uh, amazing additions to our school and they're already part of the Ike family. So welcome to all of our new educators at Ike Middle School. Aloha, Miss Woolsey back from the islands, down in room 13 over on E-Wing, and I teach math science. 
Hi, I'm Ms. Freund. This is my first year teaching here at Ike. I'm in room E18 and I teach Spanish 1. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Name. I'm the French teacher on campus and I'm in room E19. Hola, I'm Profe Greenstead. Um, I'm teaching Spanish too and if you want to find me, you can come to my P3 class. I'm more than welcome to have you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Rubalcaba and I am in E9. I teach 7th grade language arts and 6th grade math and science. Hi, I'm Ms. Perales and I'm in D2 and I teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade math and language arts. Hi, my name is Mr. O and I teach 6th and 7th grade PE. You can find me in the gym or the boys locker room. My name is Carolyn Trexler. I'm in room E20, and I am the 7th and 8th grade math and language arts teachers. Well, one of them. Thanks. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. Chandler. You can call me Mr. C, and I teach 6th grade math science. Woohoo! I'm Miss Nolette. I teach 6th grade English and history, and I'm in room 4. Wow, Cody. That's a really nice hat. Where'd you get it? I got it at Costco. Costco's a real great place. You can get so many things there. But one thing you can't get there is sports. But here at I, you can get many sports. We have, For this fall, we have cross country, volleyball, and football. Yeah! Hey, I Wildcats, here's the sports overview. Hi, Mr. Padilla and I are, I'm Mrs. Hasty. We are coaching cross country this year. Um, this is the fifth year we've been coaches for cross country. And we have five meets all on Thursdays. Right now we have 78 kids out running. It's a great team. Go Wildcats. here. We're excited to get our girls volleyball season underway. We had so many girls try out for the 7th and 8th grade teams and uh, thank you to all who tried out but we're really excited for the turnout and we're excited that we have so much talent so we're really hoping that we can get more students to come to our games. We have home games here. Uh, they start at 4 o'clock for 7th grade. 8th graders are at 5 o'clock Tuesday. We hope to have a lot of Wildcats out to come watch us and support us. Thanks. Hi, I'm Katie and I'm here to talk about the rules at Ike Middle School. Safe, responsible, and respectful. Now let's get to Mr. Beadle about detentions and citations. Go. And now we'll be talking about the most powerful weapon of them all, the citation. Ow! <laughs> now this is Mr. Beadle and I'm here to talk to you about uh, citations. So um, if you are issued a citation, your teacher or staff member will let you know. Um, citations this year are done electronically. So the teacher is gonna be inputting it on the computer and will be sending it to the office. But they will let you know that you have been issued a citation for a minor offense. The yard duties at lunch will actually still use the old paper method. Um, they will have a half sheet of paper and they will let you know uh, that they are, you are being issued a citation and they'll get your signature on it. Are you using your phone in class? Yes. Citation! Oh my god! Oh, there's a piece of paper. Yeah. Too bad. You can only use them at lunch. Turn them off at 9.05 and you can turn them back on at 3.14. Must be shut off during classes if not being used. So, you're late. Oh, come on. I should, I'm late. I'm not going to tell my parents you know, think I'm all tardy and stuff. Darn it. 
skateboards and where to park them. First of all, you can't ride them across campus or in campus at all. You have to park them here or here. Mostly you park your scooters and skateboards on this little rack here and your bikes over here with your helmets. Remember guys, don't play in the parking lot. It's really unsafe and the teachers don't like it. Also, don't park your bikes in the parking lot. It's not a car. And here we have the Wildcat Way. Safe, respectful, and responsible. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I was wondering about why wind blows. I was being an inquirer. Inquirer, this month's IB trade. Here's Ms. Schreider talking about what it means to be an inquirer. Okay, so the IB Learner Profile of the Month is Inquire, and it's a great way to start the year. Being an inquirer is always asking questions, always wondering how things work, whether you poke it, whether you test it, whether you look it up online. We want kids to start the year in their classes with inquiry skills. So being able to uh, research and find out answers and question why and extend their learning. Here are the upcoming IB student lunches and dates. Inquirer, August 31st, Principal, September 28th, Open Minded, October 26th, Caring, November 30th, Balance, December 14th, Communicator, January 25th, Thinker, February 1st, Risk Taker, March 29th, Reflective, April 26th. Are you looking to get into ninth grade? Here's what you gotta do. Let's go to Miss Polymer. Yay! I'm Hannah. I'm Dahlia. I'm Sala. And this is the eighth grade promotion requirements. Morning Wildcats, I'm here to talk to you quickly about your promotion requirements. Um, know that these requirements apply to not just the promotion ceremony, but also the Six Flags field trip, as well as the promotion dance. So there's four requirements for us. Number one is maintaining a 70% average from seventh and eighth grade year. This is an average, which means it's from all seventh grade and all eighth grade. So keep doing what you're doing, work hard, and keep that average up. You also need to pass your constitution test, which you will take with your social studies teacher very soon. And then the third thing is satisfactory attendance. So what this means is you're not excessively absent, and if you are, you have an excused note from your doctor or a parent. You also need to have satisfactory citizenship. So this means that you are in good standing as far as merits goes, and you are not on probation. If you are on probation, start a plan now to make those merits back up to get to 100. You also need to pass your community service project. So this means that you need to get a passing grade on all parts of your community service project in order to participate. See you at promotion.